Hey YouTube, Ice9 again, bringing you another Madden Mobile video. And in this video, I'm going to be covering the launch of Positional Heroes, which I've mentioned in several of my videos. So, Positional Heroes came out this morning, the first two players. And we see the set right here in front of us and the player right here in front of us in 98 Delaney Walker. And I think in the case of Delaney Walker, uh, most people have Domination Gronkowski, and if we look at his front page stats here, speed's not great, uh, strength is just okay, blocking stats are good, catch stats are very average for 98. Uh, I didn't see the hidden stats as of yet in terms of catch and traffic, route running, some of the other things that will affect the tight end. But this is a player I could see right here that is not going to be uh, extremely desirable, especially for people who have domination Gronkowski. Now, uh, now that we know that most people are not going to be picking this guy up, we kind of see how the sets work. And how the sets work, there are similarities to the sets last year, and they require a lot of gold and some elite players they require eight more gold players it was 42 last year this year it's 50 uh, elites at the position they require 10 this year and last year they required 12 what is different and has changed there was also silver players needed for last year that's really not important silver players are not very expensive and i believe six of them were required for player but the big issue here is these positional collectibles right here and my assumption was on seeing this uh is that there's they're going to be you're going to be able to get these through a live event that has not been the case so far because of that, the collectibles are the most expensive part of the sets. And we'll take a look at that in the auction house in a second. Also, there's an elite trophy requirement, five of them, which is roughly 40 to 50,000 coins worth of elite trophies. Not a big deal if you want a player, but it is an additional requirement that they did not have on the sets last year. So basically, here is what has happened. Last year, as I mentioned in my last video, all positional heroes were 99s. This year, not the case. We got a couple of 98s. Uh, we have a couple of 98s that don't have really great stats in the areas that we would like to see them, and I'll show you more about that with the other player in a second. I already... Uh, kind of mentioned how Walker is not a step up from Gronkowski and I don't expect a lot of people to be fulfilling this set because of this you could kind of see I have one gold tight end on my bench that's because when I saw what the players looked like on the set this morning I went out and sold everything as quickly as I could I sold it for a profit and I made pretty good coins off of that uh, I was getting I believe I had a buy it now set up for 26,000 coins per tight end and I got them for less than 20 grand and the golds I was selling for 2700 buy it now and I s bought all those for 2000 coins or less you know some I pulled from packs and just didn't sell them along the way and things like that so that's our first positional hero and the other one which is going to be more interest to a lot of people is 98 Anthony Barr and an outside linebacker <clears throat> with really good speed 96 speed 82 strength isn't bad <clears throat> excuse me that'll boost up easily to the high 90s with the the amount of boost that people have uh, just won our uh, league game I guess but uh, one hidden stat that you don't see in here, the zone isn't bad, the man coverage isn't bad, it's not great, but it's not bad. Tackle is decent, not great. 
awareness is just okay it's easily boostable but it's just okay but one hidden stat that you don't see on this card is he has 87 play recognition and what that means play recognition is the most important stat for a linebacker play recognition means that the player will react to a given to a given play and start reacting and start doing the right thing rather than just kind of milling out around and waiting so even though he's got really good speed he's going to pause before he reacts a little bit more than some of the other linebackers to give you an example I believe Ray Lewis's play, play recognition is 95 Zach Thomas is a 98 those are really good numbers that's what you would like to see for a 98 or a 96 or higher real real linebacker it's going to make up for some other stats uh, however I did not sell all the elites as you can see and all the golds because I do have I would like to give this guy a shot assuming that these collectibles come down in price and are cheap enough so let's take a look at that we're going to go to the auction house And we're going to look up bar. And we're going to go to linebacker because otherwise it's going to give us some other things in our search results. Elite under collectibles. And we're going to kind of put a price filter in there. Let's see if we, they're going for about this and see what we can get. None of them are going for 250000 Let's jump it up to 350,000 and see what we get for search results and that seems to be about the going price and still going down at this point 300,000 <clears> and sitting in the auction house so dipping now below 300,000 so now it's starting to get a bit more reasonable in terms of the the collectibles so this is here let's do a search by 270 and just kind of refine our results here first day of, of an event so people who are jumping all over the event and uh, aren't really looking at the player stats will pay whatever they need to pay for the collectibles to get them and in my opinion at this point because you require five of these collectibles so right now minus gold and elite players you're looking at 1.25 million minimum in terms of collectibles uh, the players themselves uh, 20,000 a piece for elites another 200,000 uh, the golds aren't very much so you're looking at a minimum right now of somewhere around 1.5 million to build the player and in my opinion these guys are not 99s they're not worth that I know it's a new player that's out there on the market but they are not worth that at this point and the only way that you could get the collectibles is by ripping through pro packs and I went ahead and, and opened 200,000 coins worth of pro packs this morning uh, I got uh, Colquitt elite punter 92 that was the only elite that I got in the 200,000 coins he's all over the place by the way he really wants that elite punter out there so I believe that I got 65,000 coins for him after I went ahead and sold the bronzes and the silvers and uh, and whatnot I came back about even to where I should be so I did okay with and some of the golds I did okay as far as that but I just stopped at that point it's a lot of work to to clean up your bench after you do pro packs and I've got a pretty full bench anyways basically what we're seeing here is that the two positional heroes, so 
set requirements are harder and they're based on these positional collectibles and people are going to be ripping through packs to do this this is going to drive the price of players down all players bronzes silvers golds elites everything's going to go down since now we know that we need the five positional collectibles in addition to the 10 elites and the 50 golds and the elite trophies and they're not 99 players we are basically paying more this year for less of a player and some people are going to jump on this because they just want a new player and that's you know what they're going to do they're going to try to do anything they can do to get the new player i would say that right now uh it's not a good time to fulfill these sets and because the the collectibles are so expensive and so many people are going to be ripping pro packs trying to get them increasing the number of players in the market bronzes silvers golds elites this is going to drive the market pricing down now we know that the players while an expense as part of the set are not the biggest expense also the live events today are all to get players at the position and there was only one guaranteed poll for the first poll I got a gold uh, I played through 40 stamina this morning on the event and I got the guaranteed player which was a gold 84 which I sold for 4,000 coins he was a good gold but other than that uh, that's just going to increase the number of players that are out there in the market and as we know now the cost of the players is not the key thing to do to the set the collectibles is the problem that's going to drive the price of players down, like I said. Uh, people who were prepared for more like something last year with positional heroes are going to see this and say, screw it. I'm going to clear my bench. I'm going to try to get out while the get getting's good. And this basically is creating somewhat of a panic sell type of situation. Uh, it's going to really bring down prices of players, which can be a good thing, except for the really elite players are still going to be expensive on the top tier. Uh, they'll be affected. The prices of those players will be affected, but not too much. So it's going to be hard for someone like myself to take this event and make coins. Now, I did make coins this morning because I got in quick. I got in early and I sold the players before people realized how hard these collectibles are going to be to get now my thoughts on this are that ea is going to correct it i do think that ea is going to have some kind of live event or come up with some kind of reasonably priced pack that can be purchased with coins and not just madden cash to give us the collectibles because i'm sure they want people to have these players and I expect them to do something like that. That doesn't mean that they will. If they don't do something like that, uh, I'm not sure what's going to drive the economy of Madden Mobile from this point forward. I'm sure they'll come up with things, but Positional Heroes last year was something week in, week out. There were two players. It was always stirring the market, always causing people to buy and sell things etc uh, I don't know if that's going to be the case unless they have some kind of live event or do something to where the collectibles are easier to get because right now it is absolutely ridiculous in terms of getting these players what you get for the money is not worth it so I do recommend going back to bar and just kind of analyze the player a little bit from what I've seen. I have not played with him, obviously. I have not played against him. But as a replacement for Brooks, uh, one of the hidden stats, his play recognition is in the low 90s, uh, even unboosted. Speed and strength are, are just okay. Uh, the, the speed's not anywhere as good as bar's going to be. Another crucial thing, 
four bar is that he's six foot five and if you put him on Gronkowski I do think that because of his speed and because of his height he is going to be a factor in coverage against Gronkowski maybe a better cover for Gronk than Brooks is at this time you can contest a ball more because of his speed and his height so that's definitely a possibility and also he's a higher overall than Brooks of course and with Brooks there's the two 98 versions the frozen version of Derek Brooks which everything that's out there is out there they're fairly expensive still going in excess of two million coins and the Super Bowl version which I don't believe any more of those are going to be coming out and those are going still between three and four million coins this is auction house too the last time I looked so that's a pricier alternative to this guy so I do think that because of that he's going to make a lot of people's lineups but at this time there is absolutely no reason to break the bank to try to get this player that's my opinion on this in in Delaney Walker's case uh, he's he's a great player but I don't see for the majority of people doing this set uh, I feel fairly lucky that I came out with my elite tight ends and my gold tight ends at a profit this morning just because uh, this guy is is not worth it to build for the people who have Gronk which is a lot of the people who are still playing this game after the Super Bowl so I just wanted to talk a little bit more about that so right now let's take a look at something else we're going to look for elite players and see what they're going for we're gonna set our price low and see who we could get right now for 13,000 coins and that's all sold that might be a little bit low but there's a there's a number of players let's try just refining it to 15,000 coins all right so you're seeing a lot of players sold at this there's still some hanging around uh, wide receivers which are going pretty cheap there's a lot of elites out there in the market Again, wide receivers so right now at this point I don't think the market has crashed as badly as I would have thought it would at this point but we're gonna to have to see but this is definitely right now this is not the time to say oh my gosh positional heroes doesn't work the way I thought it would with the collectibles I'm going to go ahead and sell off my elite players because guess what everybody is going to be trying to do the same thing which is going to drive down prices which means you're not going to get what you really should out of those players I do expect EA to address this adjust it correct it in some way shape or form I'm not sure if that's going to happen we're going to have to stay tuned but right now this is definitely a buying mode type of situation now let's see a very expensive elite position and see what they are going for let's see if we can get elite centers for 30,000 coins probably not let's try 45,000 and there we see I mean I bought elite centers for positional heroes less than a week ago and I was basically kind of trying to snipe them and I got them for about 50,000 coins a piece would be about my average some cheaper some more expensive and now we see the players are, are basically sitting at 45,000 so the elite centers are being affected and we could see other players affected but at this point uh, things are still very new and uh, 
so we're going to just have to see what happens in terms of player prices. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about that, positional heroes, uh, Mad Mobile's economy, what we should be looking forward to. I would say right now, uh, selling, uh, see how it goes if you feel the need, you know, the, these positional heroes to sell players. Uh, don't just try to do it to get, you know, quick coins. Uh, I think you could lose a lot in the short term, and I do, again, expect EA to correct it. But, w again, we'll see what happens. But uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out Papa Raider. Papa Raider, he posts videos as well. Aiden Sapphire and Ryan, they are all in my league after disaster. And uh, feel free to check out their channels as well. They are in my subscriptions. So thanks for watching.